Hello everyone and welcome back to the 142nd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. With that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the Eryx 3. This is a one-man submarine with a couple of cool little features inside there. Now this apparently can be submerged for roughly around one hour. It's also got 5,000 liters of generator fuel in it. It's got a jagged bow edge apparently, and also is uh, capable of just being manned by one person. So very cool. Let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, very nice looking. I love the interesting front design to this. You can see we've got the jagged bow edge here. Yeah, very interesting. And the paint scheme also very unusual, but I like it. The amount of detailing is really nice. You can see all these are paint blocks here at the top. Looks like a little camera there. Looks like we've got some radars, uh, some fins or elevators over there. Big window on this side. Going around some exhaust there, I'm guessing for generator and probably a propeller inside there all right very nice so far i mean let's go and get inside so catch to get in here and i guess we just jump down and we can close that hatch Ooh, already i like the interior Ooh, this looks really cool wow very simple but really cool like a little kitchen over here looks like we have the generator here so you could do radiator fuel pumps fluid pumps throw up and then you start the generator. Oh, are we actually moving? No, we're not. It sounded like a propeller was moving. It still does sound like a propeller moving. All right, so that's fine. So we can just have the generator running, getting some electricity on that. Circuit breaker for a light. All right, leave that on. A little map table, a little chair on here. Oh, it actually moved once we sat inside it. That's quite nice. We've also got a little hatch here, so battery repair hatch. Got a key switch here for bilge pumps, electrics, a few other cool things here. Move through this little area. So we've got some lockers, uh, nothing else on the other side. And then we come to this part where you can actually see out the big windows on the other side. And we've got a little bed. Nice. Yeah, so definitely like a one man sub. Very similar to like the one man sub we saw this week. Very nice. All right, let's go and turn the generators off. So I throttle down, start it off, right? All this off. Jump into the helm. We've got the bilge pumps. Uh, we've got depth and a few other things there. Heading if we want it. You can see in front of us. We've got clutch. Up and down. And that's pretty much about it. So go forwards. Up and down. Okay, that's up and down. Let's go forwards. We need something else on first. Ah, switch to electric. There we go. So press one, switch to electric, and there's our up and down. Second brew, let's go forwards. Okay, so that's about max speed on the surface so far. All right, are we already diving, aren't we? The depth, fuel, knots, bilge pumps, and then we can start going down. So we use W and S for that. Okay, so S is to go down. Look at that, there we go. Nice. And it's just keeping us nice and level. Headlights is two. So that's the headlights in the front. Emergency surface. And then we've got A and D, which is obviously left. Very cool. I mean, it's so small and so little clean. How's our electric? With 0 0.79. I guess we do have the headlights on. So we turn that off. I mean, this could probably last quite a while. Yeah, that's pretty good. What about the emergency surface? Six. Yep, literally just throws us straight up onto the surface. All right. I mean, it's super nice and stable. I like it. So a very lovely creation. Definitely recommend you to go and check it out, play with it. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the chicken spins in a microwave. 
Yeah, this, I never thought I'd be reviewing a microwave here in Stormworks, but uh, yeah, we're about to review a microwave. Nothing more to say. Let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, um, yeah, it's a, it's a microwave. We have plus one minute, uh, 10 seconds, and then start. So, I mean, one minute, so that's one there, and then you can obviously add seconds. Or reduce, oh no, that's actually reducing it by 10 seconds. Okay, so that's 50 seconds now, and then start. <laughs> it just needs the noise. That's the only thing it's lacking. <laughs> that's really cool. So that's like a an image that's just going across and across and across. Oh, that's really cool. It's <laughs> I never thought I'd be I'd be looking at a microwave. But I mean, hey, it's it's in the top of the workshop and it's cool. It hasn't been done before like this, I don't think. I mean, we have um five places that have been done like this before, but not microwaves. That's cool. I mean, I'm sure people will add it into their creations. Very nice. Let's go and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the P1 to 1 Griffin. Now, the Griffin is a dedicated submarine hunter. Um, now, looks absolutely amazing. Apparently, it's got four uh, curveball EMPN guided torpedoes on there. There's depth charges, there's anti ship radars, sonars, and a whole bunch of cool things. There's guns. Oh man, it looks really cool. So, let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the ship, a really nice looking ship here. Wow, you can see we've got depth charges here at the back. Uh, torpedoes on either side, so two here and two on the other side. Looks like we've got a battle cannon or heavy auto cannon over here. Along with that is a light auto cannon. Now I'm guessing these are trooping down a bit because there's no electricity yet on the boat, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we've got dual, yeah, dual machine guns over there. It looks like we've got a control helm there. We've got the bridge there. I mean, really cool. I like it camera up there too, radars. All right, let's just go and jump on it. Let's get going. So got looks like some rope anchors, some winches here. Carry on through some ammo on the deck here to go and reload this. Righty. Uh, we've got, what do we have here? So radar, monitor switch, gun sight switch, gun stabilization, single shot, automatic. Okay. So, I mean, we're going to not look at that first because I want to get some electricity on to make sure everything does work. So I wonder, let's go down here, open this, and then we get into what I'm guessing would be like a little kitchen. That's pretty cool. And then up into the bridge. Nice. All right, uh, here we go. The main battery, that's what we probably need on before we do anything else. So let's go and check out that gun now in the front. Yep, you can see straight away that is now corrected itself. Let's get in there. So we've got up, down, left and right. We've got gun sight switch, okay. Got radar monitor switch, all right. Gun stabilization, radar asthma targeting, infrared mode, automatic fire, single shot mode, and master arm. So, of course, we can get the sights on and then you can go and shoot that. Those left mouse buttons fire. We have the master arm on. Ah, we need single shot. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, uh, I guess the targeting could be desired. And it. Yeah. That's alright, uh, we've got automatic fire, so let's just let go and you just fire, so, okay, turn that off, turn that off, and then of course if you want to you can reload this, and to reload it, I mean what, you would just jump out I guess, yeah, jump here, grab some rounds, and stick the rounds inside, alright, very nice, let's carry on going through, uh, we're going to head towards the back of the boat first, so we've got the depth charge. Okay, so these are flares, and then the depth charges, are they, I'm guessing they're not controlled from here. I'm guessing we might have to go into the bridge. We've also got firefighting capabilities here. Winch system here at the back. Oh, wait, hold on. E button. I'm guessing that's just for electricity. Not to actually release these. Ah, hold on. Mm, there we go. Depth charge 1, 2, 3, and 4. 5, and then master arm. Detonation depth. Ooh. Okay, I mean, we're going to have to try that once we actually head off. So there's five here and five on the other side. Okay, that's pretty cool. First time I've actually seen depth charges, I think, on a good looking boat like this. I've got armory, so I don't know what the code is, but ooh, what did I just open? Let's go in here. So diving equipment, and we've got the engine room. 
All right, so a nice big modular engine inside here. Oh, it's actually very big. I wasn't expecting it to be this big inside here. Really cool. Let's get the lights on so you guys can see. Engine room lights. There we go. Now you guys can see inside here. Apparently I was meant to come in this side then. So the switch is... Oh, the switch for the lights is here. But the entrance is... On the other side. Also, also looks like we're flooding this area. So I'm slightly worried about that. Um, As you can see, it looks like water is coming through. Yeah, water is definitely coming in here. Alright, let's... um. Turn those lights off and let's get out of here before we flood this boat. So let's go back up. I don't know what. Go back up here. Up, up, up. Is it because I didn't close the door? Might have been I, I was meant to close this door. Probably meant to close that door. Uh, let's hope there's some bilge systems inside this boat. Because otherwise, uh, you can see, yeah, because all the water, yeah, all the water is coming in here. Uh, there must be some bilge systems or something that must be running. Are those working? any bilge pumps or anything because that i don't know probably wasn't meant to open the doors at the same time but i mean surely that must be slight concern if i have that issue i'm sure other people also have the issue reserve battery bilge pumps there we go bilge pumps on we're good don't worry battery level's good fantastic okay so we should be getting rid of that water yep, you can see already see it's disappearing okay cool so that's all you need to do Oh, quite nice. I probably shouldn't have opened the doors at the same time, also. Let's check out the bridge. Let's see how this all works. So, we've got engine ignition, we've got uh, throttle, launch flares, torpedoes, master arm for the torpedoes, GPS targets. Nice. Monitor switch, laser frequency, engine clutch, deck lights, nav lights, hot lights, combat lights, bridge back lights, activate monitors, daylights. Nice. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nice little camera. That's the gimbal camera on top that you can go and activate and turn around. Nice. Oh, and you can also go to what I'm guessing would be the radar. Yep, radar, sonar. Nice. Cool. I, I'm happy with that. I like that. Engine. And then so that's that's the engine then. Very cool. So far, very clean, very simple. How do you control the back weapon? Oh, there's a control handle on it. All right. Oh, so let's go check that out. I mean, let's slow ourselves down a bit. And um, let's go and test out, firstly, the rear gun, and then, secondly, the depth charges. So the rear gun, simple control handle here. Nice, okay. And then you can hold on. Master arm. Oh, there's even a spotlight on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we can just literally go. I mean, the, the the targeting definitely. I mean, it's not great. I wonder if the if um, the creator had used female characters. I know the head of the female is a little bit lower, so maybe the targeting has lined up correctly. I could be wrong. Um, otherwise, just a simple offset would would work on that. Uh, all right, that's pretty cool. What else do we have? Okay, let's. I wanted to check out these depth charges. So you set the charge here. You're saying depth of let's say ten, and then master arm this one. Oh, <laughs> so they just automatically explode when they get to that depth. All right, two, three, and then they go. And I'm guessing we're probably getting quite a big explosions underneath us. I mean, can I go here? Okay, so I'm guessing we, they're not at 30 depth yet. Spinning around, ain't I? Yeah, they're not at 30 depth, that's why they're not exploding. And I probably damaged my boat by doing that, maybe. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, that's good. I didn't damage the boat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So it just goes at that depth. So if you think there's a sub below you, set it, drop it, and you're good to go. Nice. What's this? Hatch. Oh, okay, so this is more ammo for that gun over there. Right, so it's not stored on the deck, which is which is always nice to see. Uh, oh yeah, but there's also a flybridge up here, and we also get the extra machine guns. So ooh, there we go, and uh, machine gun spotlight also if you want it. The night missions, a little thing. That's an interesting way of doing it. Flybridge using a control handle. Roll. 
or up, down, and then you can actually steer it here. Nice. This is cool. I like it. I really like it. So simple, clean. Yeah, very good job. I think the crate has done a fantastic job. Great, let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the 1976 Piper Cherokee Cruiser PA-28-140. Now, this is meant to be a uh, very small aircraft that was produced. Along with that, it's meant to be cheap and affordable for people that were buying the aircraft for the first time. So, apparently can carry four members, uh, full fuel tanks, and it's a great little just plane to fly around with. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the plane, man, this is absolutely beautiful design to the plane the crater's got here. I mean, the wings look gorgeous, nice and sloped. Obviously, I'm guessing the craters use some type of pivot to elevate these up. I mean, I could be wrong, but they look like they are elevated, yeah. But a really good job. Definitely looks like there are some XML edited pieces around this plane. Like, looking at that, that's definitely not normal, that piece over there. Which I could be wrong, because it looks like a 1x2 wedge and a 1x3 wedge. I mean, yeah, that... I'm guessing there's a bunch of XML pieces around. Yep, yep, there's definitely XML pieces around here. But I mean, the crate has done a fantastic job using them to really make this plane look absolutely gorgeous. That's the, look at that. That looks beautiful. Like a nice clean line there. Beautiful. Not much going around the outside, is there? And we've got the recharging over there. Anything? Re yeah, refueling under the wing. Another one on that side. Yep, another refuel on that wing. Very cool. I like it. Really like it. Let's go and jump inside it. Even better. Let's see how well it flies. So jumping up, uh, we've got a pilot seat, passenger seat, couple extra seats. I mean, let's get in the pilot seat. Oh, let's go and close the door. Nice. We've got climate control, anti-car lights, a landing lights, battery. We've got a throttle lever, which is somewhat disappearing into an area there. Oh, we've got magneto start stop. We've got fuel tank selector, so off his left tank, on his right tank. We've got emergency transponder, flaps up and down, release parking brake. Oh, I like this. Very nice. The option for lights in here? Yes, there is. Cabin lights, instrument panel. There we go. Cab light on, door lock. Ooh, okay. I mean, let's go and get this on. Magneto. Nice. Parking brake uh, off, flaps down for takeoff. Uh, we pretty much just increased throttle. There we are, we're increasing throttle. Very cool. We turn, I wonder, let's go and turn here. It's also got AP and alt hold. Okay, let me get the throttle way down. The brakes on, on, brakes on, and then we're going to get lined up here and we'll increase throttle. Increasing throttle all the way up now. I really hear anything, it's so soft. Lift, lift, lift. Nice. There we are. That. All right. Can we get our flaps normal? All right. So flaps are now normal. That. Very nice. Okay. What's going on inside here? So what's that? An artificial horizon? I'm guessing would be. At the moment it looks like it's just painted on. Uh, what else do we have? A little radio. I'm guessing another radio over there. Do these actually work? Oh, that does work. Wow. Okay. Cool. Got landing lights, climate control. I mean, put that on. I'm guessing that's just heating. Yeah, let's make sure I don't crash this plane <laughs> while I'm trying to fly it. I like it. Very clean, isn't it? Really clean. Uh, so AP auto holds. So that's five. Yeah, just like that. Oh, hold on. That looks like it's going down a bit, doesn't it? No, leveling out. Leveling out there. Hopefully, we'll be hitting our alt. Yeah, there we go. Left fuel tank, right gallons. I mean, this thing looks very economical and I can barely hear it. That's an XML, something XML in the front there. But I mean, it looks really cool. Engine must be running so low RPS. I can hear it, but I can hardly hear the engine. I can hear the propeller. Don't see any exhaust or anything like that. So it must be something, yeah, something in the front here. Really cool. I like it. It's so nice and small and clean. Okay, let's just see how well this flies. I'm going to take an off AP. And I'm complete. That's full throttle. Okay, you can do a little boost there if you want. 
And then so rolling. Going up a bit. Yeah. Do quite an excessive turn there. I mean that probably wasn't nine to that much, but I mean overall, yeah, pretty good. So I just realized that um, you actually can uncage the artificial horizon here by clicking this little plus button uh, and then you can actually see the artificial horizon here so it does work it was just my ignorance for not looking at that earlier on I also like what the creators done with the um, modified wing not wing but the control surface underneath there cool great job really nice go definitely go check it out go play with this if you like flying a bit here in stomachs some fun with this one Cool, let's go ahead, let's move on to the last one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation and the last creation of the episode, we have the SA B24 Ira. This is a heavy CAS medium bomber. Now, it looks like it's got a ton of different weaponry on it. Uh, I think the default config has got six uh, unguided bombs, five unguided missiles, two GPS guided missiles, two rocket parts, and two torpedoes. Wow. Okay, it also has got a quite a bit of a startup slash control manual here so we'll try and follow as best as possible uh and feature wise yeah looks really cool so let's go and spawn it and see how it works and spawning in the creation very nice looking uh pain i mean the beautiful detailing in terms of paint blocks here at the back really great uh you can see all the different weaponry underneath this so yeah it looks like i'm guessing would be guided missiles uh unguided um, possibly uh, missile or rockets uh, looks like torpedo unguided bombs unguided bombs unguided bombs torpedo okay nice I like it it's very fully equipped isn't it bunch of different weaponry on it what else do we have a yeah, nice big landing gear system here in the front looks like we got some buttons also so what's the service hatch and service light okay so refueling and recharging nice uh, anything around the back? Let's go and have a quick look. Nothing much, eh? Just uh, some detailing. Jet engines on the other side. And that's pretty much about it. Nice. Okay. Landing gear is quite beefy, isn't it? I like it. All right. Let's try and see if we can get inside now. I guess. Oh, there's a little ammo loader in here. Is there an auto cannon in here? There's a rotary auto cannon. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see that thing. But okay, I mean that's cool. <laughs> Rotary auto cannon. Never gonna say no to that. Uh so how do we actually get inside this? Oh, okay, up right here. Okay, that was easy. Uh so you climb up here and then we've got door that goes inside, and you can close that door, and then we've got access to a cabin light, white lights, and you can actually make it brighter or softer. A very small cabin with two beds in here. We've also got a toilet in there. Wow. Okay, um, talk about cramped. Okay, we've got pilot, per pilot, and two extra seats here. I mean, let's go in the pilot seat. We've got a whole bunch of things going around. Well, okay, yeah, I wasn't expecting that many controls. Uh, that's why I guess we have the starting procedure. So apparently we need the main battery. Cool. we got that uh check rpm 3000 plus Ooh, we got all of our screens on us ah very nice Barry's using a very similar system to me with um the stuff on the outside i like it we've got a looks like a little radar screen here or navigation system we've got a heads up display with compass reading a bearing we've got a artificial horizon in front of us very cool roll stabilizer looks like we got i'm guessing that would be time time of day Okay, let's go and take off. So do we have anything for brakes? Yep, there we go, park and brake off. Let's go and increase throttle and take off here. So up and down for throttle, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. No, one is actually for throttle. Got our throttle up. Got the flaps on, so we should, in theory, just be pulling up naturally. Not yet. Yep, there we go, look at that. Nice. All right, let's get our gears. 
gears. Oh, we also have sweep wings. That's cool. Gears. There we go. Landing gear up. Oops. Gonna get my flaps off. Uh, there we go. Flaps off. And it's gonna level out a bit now that I've gone up quite a bit. There we go. Level out. Very nice. Let's go and get our wings swept back. There we go. Nice. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Did that also change the angle of the pylons? That, yeah, it did. Look at that. So these are current. So all the pylons are currently straight now. But if you go and sweep the wings again, oh, look, they're still straight. So the creators obviously used individual pivots for each one of those pylons. That is next level thinking. Uh, the amount of detail the creators has gone into that. All right. Uh, can we do a waypoint? No, alt hold. Yes, alt hold is what I'd love to do. Whoa, is it going to a certain alt? I thought it would just be holding our current alt. Or is that there what I'm meant to be playing around with? Oh, let's cruise up. Hold on, let's go alt hold. Yeah, I feel like this is the alt that I'm meant to... No, this is what I'm meant to be using here. Oh, yeah, that's a thousand. Yep, that was it. <laughs> it's that screen over there. Uh, heading hold, roll stabilizer. Okay, roll stabilizer if you want it. That will just now level ourselves out. Very cool. Okay, 30 million auto cannon. So that's a left click. <laughs> nice. You, know, you can never say no to, to roll to your auto cannon. Okay, let's check how these things work. So we've got a rocket currently selected. Those are these guys over here. So these are the unguided rockets from correct. Uh, and you would literally just guessing just toggle pile on selection. Right. And is there an option to fire? Audience variable. Okay. And then we've got GPS location. How do we actually fire one of those? Oh, there goes three is trigger. There he goes. There goes unguided missile. Correct. Okay, now we physically have to go and select something else. Ah, he's using the empty also. Very cool. Um. Okay, well, let's go and choose something else. So, oh, that's a rocket. That's a bomb rack. That's these guys, those big racks over there. So if we were to find those, that's three. Three? Three. Got the bomb racks. Ah, okay, maybe I have to select it properly. Yeah, there you go. You have to, like, confirm it. There goes one two and three so those are unguided bombs see about stormworks and how things don't continue there oh their speed and then they go and drop obviously not hitting anything so not exploding all right um and then we've got uh, torpedoes we've got rocket pods so that's oh, that's pretty cool rocket pods select that and then three again yep and there you go rockets you can hold three down and just shoot the rockets off very cool. All right. I mean, let's stop playing around with weapons. I want to see how this thing actually flies. Uh, roll stabilizer off. Alt hold off. Let's go in like full, full manual flight mode. Nice. We are obviously in quite extreme moves here, but I mean, so far, really nice and smooth. Let's chuck the roll stabilizer on again. Should stabilize us in a few seconds. Yeah, pretty much has. And also do tons of other things. Radars, if we want that. Yep, there's the radar on that screen I said earlier. Very nice. Does the sweep wing actually give us a speed advantage? I wonder. Um, oh, our throttle's not even on full. The throttle up. Going to get throttle maxed out. So we're doing 320, 330. Oh, really dominating with our speed. It's such a cool look to this. three about 360 and if we unsweep the wings do we lose a little bit of speed not really actually just looks much cooler doesn't it i really like the the way the creators angled that and they how these rotate so oh, that's really nice it's done a fantastic job really nice very very simple i thought it was going to be a little bit harder to use it in terms of like systems and things but i mean once you play with it once or twice i mean systems are not not that confusing at all um but yeah really cool lovely lovely creation another another excellent one of course uh 
And with that said, that is the end of this week's episode. Guys, if you want to check out any of the creations that we've looked at in this episode, I will leave them linked in the description, as we always do. Uh, and if you have enjoyed uh, any of these creations and um, you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Uh, and also the little bell, I can not miss any of my future content as soon as it gets posted. And until next week, see you then.